I think uh, the, the, the exorcist is uh, designed to tame the demon. Pull the trigger. Maybe you should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for What is happening, guys? How's it going? Rush SRT. And today's video, we're gonna be discussing an article that I found online that I think a lot of you guys um, might be interested in hearing about. So uh, let me start off and go ahead and read you the article title, which is uh, the, probably the reason I'm making this video. So let's go ahead and read it. And it states, Dodge Demon Be Gone. Hennessy's Exorcist looks to expel the competition. Uh, let me say this, uh, the exorcist is not expelling anybody. Um, the reason is, this article goes on to talk about how the exorcist has recently broken uh, 217 miles per hour at a test track in Texas. So, oh my god, you know, this thing went 217 miles an hour. Probably pretty cool information, but I think they forget to mention that the Exorcist uh, is, uh, you know, like $55,000 conversion of a ZL1, which is already like $63,000. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, so it's, it's a pretty pricey upgrade. It's not like it's a ZL1 that uh, got some drag radials and a tune and went that fast. They dropped some serious money and time into this car to make it, you know, be able to do this. So when you're comparing the Exorcist versus the Demon, which from the factory is, uh, you know, race ready, it pretty much you dump some race fuel in it, you do your, you know, high octane uh, tune, and you're pulling some amazing numbers at the track. So I just don't think it's a fair comparison. I don't think the Demon's going to be going anywhere and I think articles like this are kind of pointless because when you take a ZL1 and you switch out the 1.7 uh, you know, liter supercharger to a 2.9 that is a pretty big jump and obviously there's a whole bunch of other supporting mods in order for that uh, supercharger to be able to run on that car reliably. Now granted they do give you a warranty of two years or 24,000 miles through Hennessy um, it's still a lot of money I mean at that point you're over the price of a demon and uh, I think just you know they're they're trying to pretty much go after the demon but I just don't think it's fair I think if that type of money was dumped into the demon we'd say some pretty ridiculous numbers um, out of it because I know for a fact that the demons probably um, are kind of underrated and they probably Dodge has stepped it down in order to be able to warranty them and have them run real uh, reliably because I've seen videos, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys follow the, the channel um, Demonology on YouTube, but you know, he's taken his car to the track and he's been able to like run consistently back to back to back. So it's a beast, the car is a beast, and it, it's, you know, it's it just made for the track and that's the purpose it was built for and it does a killer job at it and I think um, nobody can really knock it for that and uh, <clears throat> another thing is uh, you know I think a Dodge has a thing where they usually like underrate the horsepower of their cars uh, you know there was several cases of cars producing more power than they were rated at so who knows but anyways I think once people tune those demons they're gonna get a ton of power out of them um, and kind of really unleash more of a beast than the car already is but the fact that it's running consistently and people have had no issues with them I think it's pretty impressive so let me know your opinion do you think the exorcist is gonna get uh, be killing the demon or do you think it's an unfair comparison because the car has money dumped into it versus a car that is stocked from the factory 
So that's my stance on the situation. I'm interested in hearing yours. I'll leave your comments below, let me know. And I'm not hating on Camaros. If you do own a Camaro or anything, there's another Camaro Z on one on my wall. I appreciate muscle cars, but I also don't appreciate bullshit. Like, you know, comparing a stock car to one that has a whole bunch of money dumped into it. That's just my two cents. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. If uh, you're new, then subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Rush SRT, signing out. Peace.